यहाँ पे बैठे बैठे फिर से गांड फटगी बल लेडीज एंड जर्मन वो है इंदर जैक फ्रैग्स आई हेड Level 55 in Battlefield 2042. We're gonna talk about it. We also got the beta dates. Uh, Tom Henderson came out. He's talking about the Battlefield beta dates. The Call of Duty Alpha got leaked online, so I guess uh, the time is nigh. Let's just get right into it. Smash like if you want to see the betas. Dislike the video if you don't want to see the beta. Subscribe if you're brand new. But I want to start this video off with the Call of Duty's alphas. Okay, the, like get your pitchforks at hand because the download size. Wait for it. It's 35.322 gigs. I, I mean, talk oh, now, mother. Who's shaking? Effort. Is anybody shaking right now? Let me know in chat. I'm just, I'm just putting my hands together. I really hope the the actual game is not 200 plus gigs. But uh, the the alpha, I mean, it's kind of fair because it's gonna have the campaign, the the zombies, the the multiplayer with the seven multiplayer maps, most likely. The code name, however, is Slipstream, and it's the Call of Duty 2021 Alpha, Alpha, Beta, almost the same thing. Yes, Alpha comes before, but I'm gonna say Beta because not many people know what an Alpha is, and I, I know some of you will be like, "Well, well, well, everybody knows about the Alpha." Trust me, man, you're a Giga Chat. You're a Giga Chat. That's why you know it. But uh, other people, they're not Giga Chats. That's why they uh, like not many people. I was surprised. I was like you as well. I thought everybody knew about it, but not many people knew. But Alpha comes before the beta. I had to actually say that. It's called the Slipstream. Uh, that's the code name. And previously they did the Red Door. Y'all remember the good old Red Door? People thought this was cap, but it was actually legit. The gameplay did leak because of that, and Activision was striking every people left and right. Everyone left and right. They're like, hey man, how dare you leak that? They were striking people, and this was for Infinite Warfare. Look at that Kirby boy, the green tables. I mean, there was nothing green tables about Infinite Warfare. Like my guy, like just, just, just stop. Just get the f out of here, okay? There was no curves in Infinite Warfare, but the zombies was good though. Zombies, looking back, it was poggers, all right. And this was paveless. I like the name a lot. This was Modern Warfare 2019 Alpha, the internal Alpha. The reason they're using that code name, I I think the that the reason is simple because they do not want people finding out, but people still find out. Pe people still find out. And 35 gigs. I mean, goddamn, guys, goddamn. <laughs> and now, speaking of the Battlefield betas. Wait for it. This is the alpha. The base game is 20 gigs. Uh, this happened like a week ago. I covered it. But now we're going to talk about the Battlefield beta date. So I, I had to bring that in. The update size is 19.6 gigs. So that's like almost uh, 40 gigabytes right there, ladies and gentlemen. The thing here is that we're not sure if this is going to stack up or not. Because if it stacks up, yo, that's going to be 40 gigs. Then people will, they will see a Call of Duty is not just 200 plus gigs. Even Battlefield is 200 plus gigs. You never know, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I do think that the game is going to be around 60 gigs. Because Xbox Marketplace did leak the fact that Battlefield is going to have approximate size of 60 gigs. That's what I heard. I could be wrong. But uh, if anybody on the Xbox out here, let me know uh, if that's correct or not. But that's the alpha that they added. Now, yesterday, EA Play also confirmed it. And I talked about it. But now there's a little bit of the sad news that I want to get into it. I will read you this line. Yeah, it is a little bit sad. So sit down if you're standing kiss your loved ones goodbye the details regarding the ea play live also came with the news that ea will be hosting five smaller events sounds kind of nice right like five events they're calling it spotlights and according to the ea these spotlights events are all about connecting you to games you love and the people who make them the first one will be on july 8 2021 I will be streaming that, hit the, bell, hit the bell, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern, featuring devs from Respawn and DICE to talk about the future of FES. I mean, my guy, like, are we just here to listen to the devs interview? Uh, show us the gameplay, yeah, come on, yeah, show us the gameplay, man. We want to see Jack Frags hitting level 55, we want to see level cap hitting Colonel uh, 50, if you're doing the Colonel ranks like you used to do. I hope you, they do Colonel ranks as well, but on the other hand, this is what the homie asked to Tom Henderson, and I don't even have to say anything about Tom. I, if you have been around the channel, if you have been around the loops, the man spitted facts. At first, some people didn't believe, but I was telling you mother efforts out there, this man, he spit facts, okay? I know this guy for years, all right? Spit facts, when do you think the beta will launch? And Tom replied by saying mid to late August sounds about right at the moment. Now, previously, he did say that we're going to be getting 
the 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 the, 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 the beta in July, but I think plans are changed. Maybe that's why he's now saying mid to late August. We gotta wait a little bit. I, I don't think they're gonna announce it on July 8th, although it's possible, but I think it's more possible that we're gonna be hearing about it on July 22nd. But either way, whenever we hear something about it, I will keep you in the loops. Like and subscribe, check out this video on the screen. I will keep you in the loops. And you're gonna get a kick of dopamine on top. So I'll see you right there. Peace out, stem muffins.